Um, my name is Bailey and this is Izzy and this is our messenger bird that we made during our time in the High School Alliance Behavioral Health class and this was our anti-stigma campaign. And when we first started thinking about it, our original idea was we wanted to do a brochure. But a brochure is boring. If you hand a brochure to someone, they're just likely going to throw it away. There's, I mean, I can't even remember a time that I've actually read through an entire brochure. So our target audience is high school students, like preferably freshmen going into high school, because high school is a brand new world compared to middle school. And so we thought high school freshmen and that's why we decided, especially decided against the brochure, because high school freshmen are already getting so many new papers, meeting so many people, new teachers. So we decided that this would be a little bit more, it's it would stand out. Yeah. And so we just made it a simple origami swan, and it just says open me on it, so that it intrigues them to want to know what the heck is in this bird? So if you open it, it does say turn me over because this was a little bit too small to fit anything worth reading. So this is our first, it's a statistic, this is the first thing that we decided to put on it. And our statistic is basically just saying that 20% of teenagers ages 13 to 18 live with a mental health condition. So it just kind of is an opener to bridge the gap between stigma and mental illness. And so that was just kind of our first idea to put out there so that the people knew what we were talking about before they got into the whole bird. And then it also says flip and open, so we flip it over and kind of made some designs on there to make it um, cute. And then it opens all the way up and we put a quote at the top that says mental illness is nothing to be ashamed of but stigma and bias shames us all. Um, we thought that was a really broad quote and it would bring more attention to um, the stigma. We also put for more information, we put a um, website, a text hotline type thing, and then the National Suicide Hotline. Um, a lot of kids will feel too scared to tell anybody or even have that um, voice conversation. So I think the text one was probably the most useful one to put in there. Um, and then it just folds back up into the bird. There we go. And then, then it's back to the cute little bird. And we have paper to show you how to fold it. It's not, it's not difficult at all. It's an easy, like, four or five step bird. So you need a square piece of paper to fold the birds, and it's easiest to have the fold down the middle, which gives you this nice triangle looking thing. It also is a really good um, visual key while you're folding the bird, so you know where to stop with certain folds. So to start, you're just going to have it facing you in a diamond shape, and you're just going to fold both sides to the middle line. And you can try to get as much of a point at the bottom as you can, but I mean, the first couple times it's okay. I never got a point the first couple times. Still struggling now. And so then it's going to look something like a kite. Kind of. And you're just going to redo what you just did again. Just the exact same thing to the middle line, just in a smaller version. Like I said, I don't have a very good point. <laughs> and then you're going to take the point and put it to the top of the bird. Right on that the middle line. That would be the bird's line. tail. Just fold that piece back down a little bit, and that would be the head. And then you just fold it back towards that. It all just kind of collapses into that middle line, but you can pull it back up and then kind of crease down there so that it stands up like a bird. And like I said, that's not a very good uh, <laughs> beak there, but. That's how you fold the bird.